Hey guys, hey guys I'm back with another, another video. video. Today I'm going to be talking about 10 things that annoy me about school. So let's get into the video. So the first thing that annoys me about school is randomly getting asked questions in class. If I wanted to be asked a question in class, or if I had the answer, I would put up my hand. That's what putting up your hand is for. But no, teachers just ask you these questions anyways. Like, honestly, it's one of the worst things. And even if I do know the answer, by just getting called on randomly, by hearing your name pop up, it freaks me out so much that I can't even answer. And it's not like I'm scared of public speaking because I actually love doing oral presentations and public speaking. It's just the element of surprise and I feel like my mind just goes completely blank. I just feel like a vegetable when I get asked questions in class if I'm not putting my hand up. Because obviously I'm not ready in that point of time to answer that question. So please teachers, please don't ask me questions. Number two thing that I don't like is holiday homework. It is one of the worst things ever. Or just homework in general. I mean, I, I'm i totally for doing work at home because obviously you need to do that. But I don't like when teachers set you homework to do. Because what if I have a sack coming up for a different class? I need to do study for that class. I don't have time to be doing your homework. And then getting detentions, it's just... It's so frustrating, like, I understand you have to do that in your younger year levels because those kids don't have responsibility and they need help being pushed in that direction. But you would think that by year 12, teachers would be able to give us enough responsibility to do them ourselves. So yeah, that's one thing I don't like. And holiday homework, I mean, as a whole, it's a holiday. We need a rest from school so that we can come back bright and bushy tail bright eyed and bushy tail to start the next term. Um the next thing I hate about school, this could be school or like year twelve. Well for the last one it was more year twelve, but um for school I hate the uniform. Yes, I understand it is good to have a uniform because you don't have to wake up every day and think about um what exactly you're gonna wear. But I would much prefer a comfortable uniform. Why don't they make the sports uniform a uniform? I mean, it may not look as nice, but it's comfortable. And when I'm comfortable, I feel like working more. And isn't that what school's about anyway? Not looking prestigious, but getting really good academic results. And I swear I would be so much com more comfortable to go to school in the morning. I'd be so much happier to go to school in the morning if I felt comfortable in my uniform. I mean, stockings make you so itchy. All your legs are itchy. Like, it doesn't matter what brand. It doesn't matter how expensive they are or if they're made out of silk. No, actually, silk sock stockings would be a pretty good idea. Oh my god, I'm so going to make that idea and sell it. And everyone will wear silk stockings and be comfortable at school because of me. I know they might look a little bit weird, but you know, comfort is the most important thing. So, yeah, I would just love comfortable uniform, not some itchy, scratchy, bulky thing. The next thing that annoys me about school, I don't know if this happens at all schools or if it's just at my school, but like really fake people, fake nice people. Um, just really gets on your nerves, you know? Like if you don't like me, just say it. Or if you don't want to talk to me, just say it. Like, I don't know. That's just something I feel like happens at all schools. You're just trying to deal with people. So maybe you put on a fake, like a mask, you know? You're masking your hatred towards people. I mean, I'm nice to everyone, like even if I don't like you, but I'm not gonna like go around and say things about you. And that's probably one of the most vicious things about schools. And I'm pretty sure that happens in all schools, like bullying and things like that. So I thought I should include it in my list since it is a pretty big part of school. And yeah, that's one of the things that really annoys me about school. The next thing that annoys me about school is how much pressure gets put on you to choose a career. I mean, I, so I'm in year 12, obviously, and I feel like teachers are constantly telling me that this is it. This is the end. I have to choose what I want to do now. Otherwise, I'm done. It's just really hard. And I don't know what I want to do. I don't even know what I'm really that good at. That's probably one of the most annoying things. Um, how much pressure is put on young people. Like, and I'm a year behind everyone anyways. So I, I might be in year 12, but I don't exactly know what I want to do. I might choose a completely wrong career pathway. And I feel like teachers don't tell you enough like how this isn't the end, how you're still young and you can change your mind. And I feel like it puts a lot of pressure on people as to 
how hard they work and some people get so stressed. You hear about people killing themselves in my year level just because so much pressure is put on them to choose what they want to do at such a young age. No, I don't really know what I'm going to do. At the moment I'm thinking about doing a communication studies course which is kind of like journalism just mixed with social media. I don't really like writing essays so journalism, I don't know guys. What do you guys think? What are you guys doing? since we have only this time, only in our adolescence, our teenage years, the time when we make the most mistakes, should we be able to choose what we're gonna do for the rest of our lives. The next thing about, that annoys me about school is something a lot of people have probably experienced, but that is starting off the year, full pencil case, you know, 20 pencils, 10 pens, you've got rubbers, you've got everything. And then by the end of the school year, you have nothing. It's like so confusing, like I opened my pencil case the other day, about to write an essay, about to get out my good pen, and it's gone. Try to find another black pen, it's gone. And my teacher only lets me write in blue or black pen, so it's kind of hard when everything just vanishes into thin air. But yeah, whoever's stealing my pens, can you not thank you? Much appreciated of you. Um, another thing that I hate about school is how early it begins. I need my 8 hours sleep or I am just not going to function throughout the day. And I feel like having enough sleep is a very important part of learning and education. But I need to work out in the morning so I give myself at least an hour for that. So I get up at around 6 and then I leave myself an hour for breakfast. I, I don't know, I don't just like eating toast, I make, I don't know, I just, I like to make nice breakfasts for some reason, and I like to just sit there and relax for a while, and then I need like an hour to do my makeup, not really an hour, I take like 15 minutes to do my makeup and I'm on watching YouTube videos for the rest of the time, but yeah, so I have to wake up at 6 in the morning, and by the time I get to school I'm already exhausted, so it would be nice if school could start a bit later on in the day and finish a bit later on, that would not affect me whatsoever. Even if it could start at like 10 and I could get up at 7, that sounds like so amazing. Like, oh, I would love that. The next thing that annoys me about school, so we do have a uniform, but when you get student free, no, not student free days, when you get um, free dress days, and you're not allowed to wear tank tops because your shoulders might arouse the boys or what have you, your chest, your shoulders, your arms, I don't know what it is, but why should we not be able to wear tank tops, especially when we have it in summer? Like I don't really own t-shirts because I don't, I don't know why, I just don't. So it's like long sleeve tops or skivvies or something I have to wear in the summer so that I don't arouse the boys. I mean, please. Miss, aren't we a bit past this? I mean, I'm no feminist, but I don't really feel the need to wear something that makes me feel hotter in summer. It's not even tank tops, it's just the spaghetti straps. Like, I could probably have a wide, like a wide strap like that, so it couldn't be about the chest, it's just about our shoulders. Or we can't wear leggings because our butts show too much, but I feel like you see the same amount of butt and leggings that you do in, like, jeans. I mean, I don't really wear leggings. Actually, no, I wear sports leggings. They're like one of the most comfortable things. I don't know, it's just kind of annoys me because that's what I'd wear out about in the shops or whatever. Shouldn't it be up to us what we feel comfortable in wearing? Which takes me back to the comfortability. We should be comfortable at school so we're ready to learn. The second last thing is um, being told off for wearing like two pairs of earrings at school. Getting told off for wearing earrings. I, I don't know how that affects my learning having earrings in because I have two holes pierced like I'm not wearing two earrings at the moment but I have two holes pierced in my ears and it's annoying if you want to wear earrings and keep your holes from closing up if the school won't let you even wear earrings I don't understand why we can't have like just normal ear piercings or ears in hole like you know what I mean piercings in your ears and like, I understand maybe it makes the school look bad, but I feel like 
if you are classy about it, maybe just wore some nice pearls or simple earrings, not like big hoops or something. Like I don't really see the issue in that. I don't see how that could affect your learning or affect how people view the school. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, it's just something that annoys me. If you have any insight to that, maybe you could explain, but to be honest, I don't really see what is wrong about having earrings in at school. And the last thing, this is probably one of the biggest things that annoys me about school, is the teachers that can't teach the subject that they're doing. Because it's pretty clear, well I found it clear that depending on what teachers I have depends on how well I do in the subject. So you would think that the school would employ teachers that can deal with the year level or the age group. Like sometimes you get teachers that are clearly meant for younger kids and can't control an older year level or can't teach an older year level at that time. Okay. Can't keep you interested in the subject or just completely bore you to death or can't communicate things properly. That's probably one of the biggest things, teachers that can't communicate things properly and I've had, I experienced that a lot at school. And I found as soon as I get a teacher that can communicate things to me, especially in English and probably in science, because I failed science all the way up to year 10 and I got a really good teacher, like a teacher that taught me really well. Shout out to Miss Berry. I know a lot of people will, will disagree with me, but I thought that she taught really well. And I got like really good marks in her year level and it got me really interested in science. So I feel like it really does depend on the teacher. That's one thing that really annoys me about school is how the teachers control pretty much your future. So you should be, in, and like I go to a school that you pay for, so we should be paying for teachers that can teach the subject. There are 10 things that annoy me about school. Hopefully it wasn't too boring or cliche for you, but um, I just thought I should share it. Just came to my mind. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a really good day. And I hope that you don't experience these things at your school or maybe your school is just amazing and nothing annoys you about school. That would be pretty good. Um, anyway guys, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!